Hi my friends, this is Mentoring Monday again, and today I'll be talking to you about honor and how to teach your children honor. Honor is the beginning of teaching your children manners. You know, since we were created in God's image, and uh, a part of that is very holy, and it's, it's an amazing gift to think that we were created to be like God. And we honor God, and we worship God, and we bow down to God. He is the Lord of the universe. And there is a sense of value to us because we are made in God's image. And so the, one of the first commandments that children learn are honor your mother and father. To give someone honor is to value them, to respect them, to treat them in such a way that shows you value their worth to you. Now, why is this so important? Because I believe that since we are little gods on the earth, we are made to look like God, to reflect his image, to be like him. We are imbued with a capacity to think and be righteous. We are God's children, his reflection to the world. That one of the things Satan would most want to do is to dishonor human beings. And when you look at at the scientific model that After the Enlightenment, we started uh, appreciating machines and things that um, consolidated time and were efficient. And we began to measure people by their efficiency or what they accomplished. And over a long period of time, and I won't go into the whole philosophy tonight, but you can see that that Satan would, would deform the truth that we were created to have honor so that we could give people value, so that we could give all people value. Uh, babies to elderly, uh, sick to, uh, to healthy. And so Satan would want us to devalue human life because when he devalues human life, he devalues God because we were made in God's image. And so the scientific foundation through which we look at life values efficiency and tends to look at people as though they were machines and what they can produce and what their worth is based on what they can produce, rather than seeing the intrinsic value that they have the imprint of God on their lives. And if you can't teach your children to give honor and to bow down and submit their spirits and respect those who deserve honor, they will never learn how to bow their knee before God. Honor is at the very heart, the very root of worship of God, giving up of self, in order to give favor and respect to someone else. Honor is also the foundation of manners. Manners comes from honor. The reason we teach our children manners is because it gives them habits of self-control so they can learn to practice honoring people. My children were taught to honor those who are older than them. My children were taught to honor people with titles. Uh, Everything in our society mitigates against honor. We don't dress in a special way for a concert or a funeral. I was at a funeral today and people were wearing jeans and dresses. Um, We don't dress for occasions. We don't speak quietly in a church. We have casual churches where we're loud and rambunctious. How can we teach our children to honor God if there's no place where they're made to be still? so that they can honor him. How do you begin to teach honor? You build it into the habits of your life. And we'll be going through this when I start doing the 24 family ways with you. But even from the time a little baby um, is born, you honor them, you touch them, you speak to them graciously, you model honor to your children. You don't scream at them, at least not most of the time. You uh, You talk with them quietly, you serve them, you teach them manners. When people come to your door, you say, now we're going to have company tonight. I want each of you to look them in the eye. Let's practice. Look me in the eye and say, it's so nice to have you here. I trained my kids before we go to grocery stores. I taught them how to talk to people who worked in the grocery stores or in Walmart. I, I talked to them about how to treat elderly, to hold their arm, to give them their chair. I taught my boys to give up their chairs. Uh, When my little babies were very little, if they started screaming or yelling or having a tantrum, I would put them in the crib. This is when they weren't old enough to crawl out of the crib. I would put them in the crib and I would say, mommy is allergic to screaming. 
I cannot listen to you unless you can have a controlled and a gentle voice. And immediately my children learned how to talk to me. When they were little bitty, they would even go from screaming to, uh, Mommy, my finger hurts, or whatever. You know, you're training, you're holding, you're touching, you're taking them with you. Honor is something that teaches your children to be servants in ministry. Honor is such an important uh, faction or, or, or part of becoming a Christian, learning how to love people, learning how to win people. Uh, you tell your children that you want them to each serve something when someone comes over. You teach them to write thank you notes, even if it's on the computer, to tell somebody thank you so much for your thoughtfulness. When when a child learns honor and, and t has a heart of honor, I want to respect you because you were made in God's image, then they can't easily accept things like abortion, euthanasia, getting rid of things that cost too much money. We have come to the point where babies and elderly and anyone who's sick don't have any value anymore because we're living in a scientific mode of thinking which values the hard facts, what things cost, uh, how they're invested. And honor comes from the heart of God. He honored us so much that he died for us greater love has no one in this than a man laid down his life. He was the serving and the servant king. So this week, as you go through your days, start writing down how you want to honor, how you want honor to be a foundation in your home, how you want to speak in an honorable way, honor your husband, honor your friends. I think that crudity and crassness has become acceptable in telling off-color jokes, but what you need to understand is if there is nothing in our culture that is holy, that if everything is acceptable and crude language is the norm and laughing at crude language is the norm in your home, how will you ever teach your children honor or respect or the holiness of God? Teaching your children to honor through habit, through speech, through heart, through attitude, through practice, helps your children's hearts to be ready to bow their knee before a holy God. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. I so enjoy having my Mentoring Mondays with all of you. God bless you. Bye-bye.